And a lot of things are happening with the the cult of Rousey. I don't, it doesn't make any sense. That was a horrible transition. But a lot of things are happening in the WWE with r- ravishing Ronda Rousey is returning. Is this what I'm hearing? This is what we are all hearing, and of course, the Royal Rumble is tonight as we are recording, but everyone right now is expecting the return of Ronda Rousey. And, well, obviously she's not going to wrestle on the Rumble. I I think that's, a lot of people expect her to be a surprise entrant in the Rumble. Oh, you think she's going to enter the Rumble? I see. I would... uh... I would think that would be an example of Vince McMahon, as he used to say, kayfabing ourselves. But do they care how many people watch these shows anymore? I mean, really, is there any way to quantify? They just uh, sent out a a statement that uh, adding the WWE Network got Peacock like an extra million subscribers, but uh, the, all those million people don't watch these shows, but I think barely get a million people to watch some of their television shows, much less the, the premium live events. So in the old days, the old Vince McMahon was a, a, a star of Ronda Rousey's caliber as a surprise. We're kayfabing ourselves, advertise her ahead of time. But if Ronda Rousey's returning and wrestling at the Royal Rumble, well, that's just swell. Uh, I saw something that said it. she'll probably be around for a year. Um, it's not just a thing to come in, do WrestleMania, and leave. But at the same time, it might not be another long-term deal because she has livestock to raise and things, doesn't she? Well, actually, she took time off to have a kid. Well, yeah, but her, she raises livestock on a more ongoing basis. She has more livestock than she has children. Well, she <laughs> I don't want to compare raising livestock to raising children, but I'm sure she's, on a daily basis, raising her child as a mother, not just well, the no, livestock. She's, she's got a farm, and they got the livestock. Hey, it's complicated, raising pigs and cattle and sheep and burros and orangutans and llamas alpacas and things like that we'll know if that's true if she shows up dressed like brock <laughs> maybe they've been off in saskatoon together uh but uh, they need her it, let's be serious now ronda rousey brought a ton of eyeballs the last time she had a, the most spectacular debut in pro wrestling history even though obviously it was <laughs> done by triple h there's another thing he did he gave put together rousey's debut which was the greatest debut in wrestling history and it she hung with it she didn't make any mistakes um she had a short uh, you know run uh, as as relates to her name value it, as she left to go have a kid it wasn't like they ran out of things for her to do and that people got tired of her, so she kind of left on top, as I recall. I don't I don't remember her doing any jobs to Nikki Ass or anybody on the way out, did she? I don't believe so, but I think that when she did take time off or did leave, she may not have been as popular within the company as she had been when she first got there, and she may not have enjoyed it the way she did when she first got there. And remember, we did hear a promo, promo, an interview. yeah. I don't know, maybe two years ago, Nia Jax and a couple of the other women performers were talking on a pandemic era podcast, talking about Ronda Rousey kind of being a bully. So well, it'll be well, interesting. Uh, also, she made, and I don't remember the exact verbiage, but she made a derogatory statement about the business at one point on Twitter and and the credibility of or the legitimacy of the business. And then... Uh, I think uh, later made comments like, oh, I was just working the marks or whatever. Um, But the point is, she's a celebrity and she will put attention and eyeballs. I don't know if you could even say she'll sell tickets anymore because do they even sell, you know, they sell the same amount of tickets just because it's WrestleMania or just because it's the Royal Rumble. But maybe this is what they need an attraction. They have so few. And, you know, isn't it funny, Brian, that the biggest gate box office attractions in wrestling over the past few years on the male and female side 
have been the people that the fans know are actually legitimate instead of a bunch of fucking entertainers. Ronda Rousey and Brock Lesnar. Hmm. It's almost like there's something to that, hey, we got to believe that they're tough kind of business. What do you think? I think there's something to that and to what you said earlier about how they do need her right now. When you look at all the women there, and there are women who are clearly top stars in WWE and women who either they try to push who don't get to that level or just aren't there right now, you're dropping another main event woman into the mix. What does that do to everyone who's already there? What does that do? You have Charlotte, you have Becky Lynch, you have Sasha Banks just returned. I guess Bailey's going to return at some point. And now you have Ronda Rousey back in the mix. And isn't it a shame that you can't mention Rhea Ripley along with all of those other names because she's... That's their fault. Yeah. She's babysitting her delinquent little cousin in a pajama outfit or whatever. Um, but yeah, they need her because they need names. They need stars. They need... She can get, uh, especially her return to free television, wherever that may be, Raw, SmackDown, if they promote it, if they don't just announce it on Twitter like Tony did last week, the day before his television show, they'll get some numbers, they'll get some a little bump off of that, and they need that. I mean, as we've mentioned, you know, they've done everything that they can possibly do over the last several months in the WWE to hand Tony Khan the victory in the wrestling war. He refuses to take advantage <laughs> of most of it. So now maybe they're, well, fuck him then. Maybe we'll just fucking beat him now. So they'll bring back Ronda Rousey. I, I mean, it's, they'll either screw this up or some way or another. I mean, I've, I've never seen, as we've mentioned, two sides in a fight that are so often determined to put the other side over. Do you put the belt on Rhonda? Does she need the belt? No. Um, Is it good for the company to have the belt on her? Well, that may be a different thing. Uh, if they can parade her around like they did Brock, Brock, former UFC champion, now he's the world's champion or the wrestling champion, whatever. Media, public appearances, press releases or press appearances, things like that. And the only thing is, <sighs> I don't know, especially now she's been off for two years or whatever. Has she been training? Has she stayed up on this? Is she, is she's not going to have a mixed tag where you've got Triple H. And who the fuck was it? Fucking Angle? Yeah. It was Angle, yes. He had Triple H and Kurt Angle. Is she going to be able to go out there and have title matches with, if she's the champion with the number one contender? Well, I guess it just may keep them short, I guess. Fuck it. Now I'm talking myself into it. Yeah, put the fucking belt on her. Because none of the other girls besides Charlotte, Becky, and Sasha mean anything, and they've all three had the fucking belt. So shake it up a little bit. Yeah, bring her back, put the fucking thing on her. As long as you make sure you've got a way to get it off of her and she doesn't mind dropping it, because then you'd have to bring fucking Mildred Burke back to fucking shoot with her if she didn't want to. But, you know, I guess, Brian, we shouldn't question whether Rhonda's, you know, going to have ring rust or whatever, because after all, she's she's a multi-millionaire sports celebrity. She's made a ton of money. I'm sure they paid her a nickel 95 or two in the WWE. She can afford out there, what, what do they call it, browsy acres? She can afford with all the livestock and Who the kids and everything. Is that really what they call it? That's really what that's what she's on the farm. Yes. She married Travis Brown. How do you know Brown so much about her farm Rousey life? Acres. I've never yes. heard any of this. I don't know. Oh yeah. She milks the goats and feeds the goats, the milk that she milks from the goats and, and the jello pudding and does all that stuff out at Browsy Acres. She's probably got enough money that she has installed her own training center. You know, a facility where she can keep in shape, maybe a ring where she can work out, but certainly workout equipment and all that stuff so that she can keep in peak optimum fitness. But that she's a major sports celebrity. She's a multimillionaire. The little folk, the normal folk, they can't do that. Well, maybe they can. 
Folks, if you want to work out at home, but you don't want to spend any money, well, if you don't want to spend any money, take a rope out to a tree and tie it around there and tug on it, because that's all you're going to get. But if you want the affordable way to get the workout equipment, the workout community, and an instructor's motivation right in the comfort and privacy of your own home, well, right now, I got the answer for you. Our friends at Echelon, that's, by the way, for those grammatically challenged, E-C-H-E-L-O-N, Echelon, as in the upper echelon, because that's where these folks are in the upper echelon of fitness equipment. Echelon Fitness's fitness app provides you thousands of live and on-demand classes with great music from your favorite artists like Beethoven and Brahms and Bruce Springsteen. Whoa. And what? That's a bit of a jump. Well, I don't know. They said your favorite artist. A lot of people like Beethoven. A lot of people like Bruce Springsteen. A lot of people like the Strawberry Alarm Clock. They're, they're all over the place. Anyway, you can work out anytime, day or night. As a matter of fact, sometimes they insist that you work out day and night. No. They're going to they're gonna drive you to drop. No, they're going to make no, no, you no, no, feel no. the burn. You work out of your own schedule. You choose when you work out. No, these fitness instructors, they get on that screen and they say, listen, you little worm, look at the state of you. You need to get moving. We're going to whip you into shape. And then they start cracking that whip and you get on that bike. There's no whip. You're going to be pedaling, but you're not going to be going anywhere because it's a stationary bike and it'll burn the fat off of you. Look at the cellulite ridden state of you. How about the smart <laughs> rowers? You're going to row until you wish you'd never come back to shore. They're going to make sure you stay on top what? of this shit, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll dude, tell you what. You don't want to come back to shore. Interesting. No. <laughs> the auto just stay out there and take a, take a brick or a rock or an anchor <laughs> with you. And the auto folding treadmill, sit the kids in the corner and let them watch this thing fold and unfold while you're over there sweating, pouring sweat while you, you reach your goals of being fit you're going to be so fit, you're going to drop over with a stroke. No, let's, like, no, let's not say that. No, you will be healthy, and these are all devices and tools to help you stay healthy. Yes, because it's all about the health. Let's it's not all make about this the about health. anything else. Let's no, it's all about, about the health that you, that you attain when you climb the leaderboard at Echelon Fitness and cheer each other on. Of course, if you're a wise ass and you see somebody doing really well and you're not doing so good, you might want to tear them down. But give it your all one way or the other, even if you're being abusive, folks. Supportive, engaging, and fun is what the instructors are, but they're also strict, demanding, and potentially under investigation. But anyway, Echelon... No fitness, one's under investigation or potentially no, under investigation. It, the investigation found nothing. There was no investigation. There was, Stop it. None, what you, that's what they're saying now. There was no investigation. <laughs> Echelon Fitness's full range of affordable workout equipment, uh, along with around-the-clock classes for the family, including full-body workout programs that keep you coming back. You will come back and come back and come back until they decide that you can leave. And one membership covers a family of five. So as we've mentioned, you you've only got one kid. Get busy. Right now, folks, for a limited time only, and this could close at any time, so break your neck to get on this, my listeners, get up to $650 off the MSRP. To get this exclusive discount, text the word DRIVE, D-R-I-V-E, to 81881. That's drive to 81881 to get up to $650 off the MSRP of many or most or possibly even all of these fine pieces of equipment that you will love to have in your home and that they will not come back and repossess unless you refuse to pay for them. Message and data rates may apply. See terms for details.